Hey guys, Tiani from Unidan Engineering. It's a little bit different today, don't have a truck behind me, but that's because I brought Dan out here. So I guess we better get him along. He doesn't like being in front of the camera, so we might have to encourage him. Now we have the U2450 6x6 behind us. This video has been a long time coming. Um, obviously we had the truck out at our last year's Unimog Owners Weekend. And since then we've been finishing off the little bits and pieces, getting the crane going, um, all the final touches before handover next week. Yes, unfortunately, handover. Um, this was supposed to be a never going to be sold truck. Um, as of right now, we've got about 1,210 kilometers on the clock and this guy's sold it. Well, this guy gave me permission to sell it um, and someone clearly wanted it a little bit more than what we were wanting to keep it. So here we are. Um, I'll pass it over to you and we'll do a walk around. Cool. Hey guys, how you going? Um, we'll go for a walk around in a moment. But as Tiani said, um, this was a, a lifelong dream for me. Well, not lifelong, for the last 20 years probably. Uh, the 6x6 uh, for U2450 is the, the ultimate for us. Uh, some of the gear on it, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, it just ticks all the boxes. Love driving it. Um, best part about our business is yes, this one's sold, but we've got another one in production. So watch this space. All right, guys. Um, as I said a moment ago, the U2450 for us was, was the ultimate. So for those of you who don't know, uh, 6x6, there's only 200, roughly 200 6x6s in the world produced by, by, by Mercedes. Um, unbelievable with a kit. This one here has the 366 LA motor. Um, central tyre inflation, high-speed crown wheel and pinions, class overdrive for your high-speed gearing, and then also working group for your low-speed off-road. So um, as I said earlier, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate setup. Traveling down the highway, 100 kilometers an hour. We're looking at about, I think from memory, haven't done that many kilometers, about 18 to 1900 RPM. So ticking along beautifully. It's really, really nice to drive. The extra axle smooths it out even more. So Unimogs are pretty smooth to drive, but having that extra axle is even smoother again. Um, yeah, as I said, ultimate bit of kit. Love it. Um, can't wait to get our next one up and running. All right, so we've spoken about the, the Mercedes side of things. Um, for the Uniden part, this is a complete, um, I don't know what to say, complete change of lifestyle, I suppose you would call it, for this truck. It's been reborn. So it used to be an MRV or a medium recovery vehicle in the Australian Army. It was a single cab, now it's a dual cab. Uh, so we're just gonna run through all the different accessories that we've put on this truck. So to start with at the front, um, our low style bull bar. So this is a 5023 or a UHG low style bull bar, which because we've put our, our Gen 2, Unit N Gen 2 grill on it, we've needed to put the, the bladed model bull bar on it. Uh, housed in that bull bar, we've got our 9,000 kilo recovery point. So 9,000, 9,000. Um, black tip lights, uh, driving lights, and then our LED headlight upgrades. So LED headlights and indicators. Um, UHF aerial and that covers the bull bar. Okay, as we move around the side of the vehicle, um, we've got our Hutchinson rims um, with the full restoration of the rims, our CTIS covers. So we do this to cover up our CTIS hose to protect it, and then also give um, protection for all the lug nuts around here. Uh, Michelin XML tires, um, wider wheel arches to cover the Hutchinsons. Moving along, our triple step battery system. We've had these in production now for uh, quite a few years and um, sold many, many of them. Um, there's a whole bunch of features on there which we could go into, but we don't have all day for this video. But yeah, it's not just a battery system for those people that have, have bought one, you'll know exa exactly what it's all about. Uh, long range fuel tank, so we've got 260 litres on this side, matching tank on the other side. So 260 litres there, uh, so 520 in total. Um, on this side here, we've got a, a custom matching hydraulic tank, so we've made it look like the original, and that's got all of our hydraulics for our crane in it. Uh, moving up and over the cab, obviously the cab itself was a single cab. It's turned, we've created our, one of our Uniden uh, custom dual cabs. Uh, scrub bars, which is also our heavy duty roof rack. Uh, again, been doing these a, a long time now, um, well and truly tried and tested, uh, very well secured to the truck. 
and um, again, not just a set of scrub bars. We've got our spare wheel up on the roof and everybody always asks us how we get that down. Uh, up there we've got a little integrated fold up aluminium crane which um, folds up and we can lift our, our spare wheel down. So moving back towards our tray, we have um, a full unit end design tray here. We retain the original design of the Mercedes-Benz torsional free subframe. We've also integrated our, tr our crane mount into this. Um, we do get a lot of inquiries for cranes. Uh, we have not done a brand new crane before. However, moving forward in our next 6x6 and also our, our new truck trays, we've actually designed in a, um, a crane base into those. Uh, with all of our trays, we have the option to do galvanising and powder coating or galvanising only or powder coating only. This particular one is um, galvanised and powder coated. Um, our tray sides, so we've been building trays and tray sides for many years now, but we've come up with a new design with our tray sides. So these ones here are a full aluminium design, making them very light, but super heavy duty still. Um, obviously rust proof, very easy to clip on and off with our, uh, with our hinges. Uh, it's a one person job to lift this off. And um, yeah, it's a, a good product. We've um, also got an integrated ladder system. We have drop down tables, all sorts of things bolt onto this bolting pattern, which is here. So uh, with everything we do, there's not just a, uh, we try and look in advance and say, okay, what else can we create to, to use our existing um, bolt holes and, and systems? Um, this one here has a low headboard because of the, the crane, needs to swing around. Uh, one of our tyre carriers, we can either do a single or a dual tyre carrier in this position or up on the roof. Um, the tray itself, 6mm aluminium decking, uh, checker plate decking, tie down points throughout. Uh, this particular one has a, um, a gooseneck, a flip down gooseneck con uh, uh, connection. Uh, from here, again, we get a lot of inquiries. We've got some uh, people who want big cattle trailers, uh, horse floats, all sorts of different things they want to tow behind their uni mog. So just giving that, that extra option uh, is always beneficial. Alrighty, for those of you who have an MRV and have taken the tray off, you realise that the chassis rails are really, really short. So under here, we've got our uh, uh, rear cross member and integrated winch bar. We've had also had to do a chassis extension, which is all part of, it's a bolt-on chassis extension to bring that back, back further. So um, this is our new rear cross member. It is uh, ADR approved. We've got 10 ton, uh, sorry, 12 ton on our pinto hook. Uh, this one has a seven and a half ton unit end tow bar with the um, reducer sleeve. Our recovery points are rated to 9,000 kilos each. Uh, Bartlett uh, chain, chain hooks. So it's a very heavy duty, uh, very good quality PC piece of gear and then obviously another 20,000 pound run the winch. Uh, while we're back here, um, a very very customised uh, unit and three and a half inch exhaust system, full stainless steel exhaust system. Uh, when I say very customised, again if anyone's played with one of these things, trying to get an exhaust system out the back of this truck is not the simplest thing with those uh, with the two diffs and the panard rods and the sway bars and all that sort of gear going on. It was very very interesting to get it back all the way to the back of the truck. Um, one of the reasons we do do the rear outlet, if anybody has driven a Unimog with a, with a stack on it or a side outlet, uh, any sort of high flow exhaust system, they're a very, very droney system. So um, having it at the back of the truck, we hardly hear the exhaust at all. Alrighty, coming around to the passenger side of the tray, um, we've got our underbody boxes. I'm sure you've all seen those in our past, uh, past videos. These come as either an empty box for storage, uh, a box with preparation for our outdoor kitchen or for our full outdoor kitchen. So many, many options there. Uh, moving forward, this is a new one for us. We haven't done a little box like this before, but um, again, matching setup, our offset rolling in it, and a nice bit of storage in there. Uh, coming along here, this is a very much the uh, customer orientated, i.e. me. Um, we do a lot of motorbike riding, our buggies, etc. So having a, a, an additional fuel tank made sense to us. So we've got a fuel tank, a little electric bowser in there, hose plugs in and we can fill up our, our, our toys. Um, so that's very handy not to have to carry around jerry cans, etc. Uh, our crane, so this was the original crane off the uh, MRV body. Uh, don't know if I want to do this again, but what we did, we decided to recycle the, the, the crane, had it tested, it's all working perfectly, but then instead of having the controls up on the roof like they normally do, we've got a whole new hydraulic system right from the pump to the tank to the controls so that we can control it all down on the ground here, all with this, this little uh, remote control. So within a distance around the truck, we can fully control our crane just like a new, new, uh, new product. Big project, a next truck for simplification. It's going to be a brand new crane uh, just to get rid of all this sort of 
headaches that we, we came across. Alrighty, over the years with our um, Unimogs and lack of horsepower, we've developed a few different options to, um, to increase the horsepower. We've, um, these days we not only offer a standard rebuilt turbo, we've also got a performance rebuilt turbo. So exactly the same turbo housing on the outside, we've just uh, changed the, the internals to give us a little bit quicker uh, boost response. Alrighty, so we've moved on to the inside of the cab. Um, this one here we went a little bit special on. Um, first time we'd ever done diamond stitching, so we've got diamond stitching in our seats and our door cards. Um, since then, as with everybody, um, they've come along, they love it. I think we've done four or five different trucks now with the diamond stitching in it so um, as you can see very much the original dash panel however with our raised roof for those of you who haven't seen our raised roof here we do these in single cab extra cab and dual cab it gives us a lot more heads uh, overhead space plus overhead storage ducted air conditioning and um, and then our gauge panel up on top here so in this particular truck we've got our boost gauge our pyro gauge uh, two fuel tanks and then all our, our different switches um, we've got our winches wired in, in here so we can control them from the cab and then also our remote controls. Uh, one thing we don't have in this truck is um, additional camera system. So our nine camera um, system can bolt up into this section here. Um, our Polaris um, multimedia center, this, this one does your, your Bluetooth um, phones, your on-road mapping, off-road mapping, your typical stereo, DVDs, all that sort of stuff. So we've been using Polaris now for, I think, since 2009. Um, their systems have been upgraded over the years. Um, this is actually the previous model. We've now got a new model, which is going into a few trucks as well at the moment. Great bit of kit, love them. Uh, moving across to this side, we have so another storage pocket and some charging points. So USB and cigarette lighter plug. Um, coming down, obviously we need some, uh, some, some sound. So we've got some speakers here, as well as under the back seat. And I think this one's got a sub as well. So um, internally with our raised roof kits, uh, we've got lighting and our duct in for our air conditioning. So two here and two back here further. Um, coming down to the dashboard, this is all original. Most of it was replaced with new parts. Um, we've got our Uniden UHF. Uh, we either do Uniden, um, Oricom, uh, GME. It really comes down to the customer, customer's preference. Uh, this particular truck here, we decided to put two air conditioning units in. Because it was going to be our truck forever, we wanted to be able to demonstrate um, both our low style air conditioning unit and then our raised, um, raised roof air conditioning unit. So um, this is our typical um, low style air conditioner. Been doing these for many, many years, always progressing. Um, this particular truck here, we've, uh, because it has central tire inflation, when it came out of the military, it had a bunch of switches and gauges and some really ugly looking stuff. So we integrated the air CTI control unit with the Mercedes central tire inflation system. So we can basically go through and preset all of our tire pressures, press go, and it starts doing what we've got to do. Uh, it'll maintain those pressures in the tires heat up and cool down. So yeah, really cool bit of kit. Um, down, further down here, we've got everything's original, um, including our class overdrive in this particular truck, high speed, low speed gearing, but then we've got our dual tap um, system for our, our dual fuel tanks. So thanks for watching our video. Um, I hope this was a little bit of inspiration for you. Uh, there's, I think it's been, it, it has inspired quite a few people. Uh, since we've done the work on this particular vehicle, we have now worked on seven, eight, nine MRVs. Uh, right as we speak, we've got another three MRVs uh, in various stages of uh, restoration in the workshop. So I think there's another dual cab happening for myself, uh, a couple of single cabs, and I think Tiani's got another dual cab which just arrived this morning. So it's, uh, yeah, fun times ahead.